sorry for the lighting, it's really late. Well, it's actually only like 10.30, but my room has really bad lighting at night. Um, so anyway, I wanted to do a quick vlog since I just showered. And as you can see, my hair falls really straight. Like, it falls very flat. I have very fine, straight hair. Typical of Asian girls, of course. Um, and so, I thought I would show you guys how to blow dry it so you guys have a little curve to it, or a little curl, cuff, a little indent, I don't know what it's called, but, so my hairstylist that I go to only four times a year because, as amazing as he is, he's quite expensive for my checkbook, so, um, he's been awesome by giving me great tips about how to blow dry your hair, um, so, what I'm going to use, and forgive me for the noise, is my Con Air Ion Shine blow dryer. I know blow dryers are really bad. Um, I mean, all those products that you know apply heat to your hair is generally bad, but you've got to use them, right? Um, and then my other thing, my I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to pronounce it. It's just a boar bristle brush. Uh, you always want to use boar bristle because it doesn't break your hair. The, the plastic ones are a big no-no. So, I'm just going to do a little part for you guys to check out. So what you want to do is, oh, always make sure that your hair is a little dry. Never blow dry it. Never do anything to it in terms of uh, applying heat to your hair if it's completely wet because it will break. Uh, wet hair is, you know, it's the most fragile. So, uh, what I do usually is let it air dry for about half an hour to, I don't know, an hour. Because it does take a while for all of my hair to dry. Um, and my Hello Kitty bathroom, by the way. You can't see Hello Kitty because she's all the way down there, but another time. So anyway, so my hair is a little, it's still a little wet, but it's good enough, like it's dry enough, and it's still wet enough that I can still blow dry. So, let me show you guys this side since I'm holding my blow dryer in this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just part a little section of my hair. Now I don't have a lot of hair, so that might not look a lot to you guys, and it's okay because you guys will know when, you know, you have too much hair in one section. It's just not going to fold blow dry and it won't do anything to it. So I have my chunk and I rolled it up just a little bit. And so bear with me. I'm going to put it on low, but if you guys can't hear me, I'm totally sorry. Um, but I'll tell you ahead of time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a, put this probably in medium and I'm going to blow dry it. And what I'm going to do is probably count to 30 seconds. I mean, I won't do it for that much since I don't want to kill your time, waste it. Uh, what you want to do is just kind of blow dry for 30 seconds and kind of comb it out, which, is, which you'll see. Um, and then the trick after is that once it's hot, you just want to keep it. You want to roll it back up, and then you keep it in that position until it cools down and this is no longer hot. So here it goes. touch it you'll realize that your hair is completely hot around the brush and this is the worst time I think the mistake here that I used to make before my hair stylist told me was that you know once you think you're done blow drying you can just kind of uncurl it but that's not the point um, you're supposed to keep it in in the same position you can see until it cools down and that usually takes about again probably a minute to two minutes I mean, the longer you keep it in, just like a hair roller, uh, the better it is. So I'm going to take a little break and then come back in a minute or two and then show you guys. 
Okay, so it's been about two minutes, and this part of my hair has cooled down. So I'm going to kind of flip my hair back just so you can see this part alone. Um, and so let's see if it curled. Oh, as you can see, it worked. My trick worked. Um, and obviously, because you know it's not going in one direction, and the reason for that is that um. My hair looks so weird right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so the reason for that is that my hair is a little longer, and so what I did was I curled it more into more layers. There are more layers around the brush. And if you just want it going one way, uh, for instance, curving in, um, then you know you would just take the chunk and probably go no more than that. So there it is, you guys. That's how you guys naturally curl, well not naturally, but curl your hair without a curling iron by using your blow dryer and hairbrush. Uh, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more reviews and for more how-tos. Bye!